The lying Biden campaign and the fake news media have a new hoax. It's brand new. It's called the bloodbath hoax, taking my words completely out of context. I said that if we don't win, it will be a bloodbath for the U.S. auto manufacturing industry, which is right now turning very bad. And that's 100 percent true. That's going to happen. That's a fact. Crooked Joe Biden is trying to destroy the U.S. auto industry forever with his extreme electric vehicle mandate, which will ship every last American auto job and auto manufacturing job to China. Crooked Joe is a Manchurian candidate, in fact, doing the bidding of the Chinese Communist Party and his insane EV mandate, which is no good, which is a disaster, and which will let China steal hundreds of thousands of American jobs. It'll ruin our industry, ruin that particular thing that I was working so hard on. We're not going to let it happen. I'm going to rebuild the auto industry. We're going to have electric cars, but we're going to have every form of propulsion, every form that you can have. And we're going to bring back our car industry. It's been stolen between Mexico, China, and so many other countries. It's been stolen from us over a period of 30 years. Mexico took 32 percent of our car industry, and they're building plant after plant. And you know who's building some of the plants? China, the biggest ones. They're going to build them in Mexico and sell them into the United States, which is going to kill our industry. So I'm not going to let that happen. I will charge them a 100 percent tariff on every car that China makes in Mexico, and that's going to stop them from pouring in. It will indeed be a bloodbath, but it's going to be on the opposite side. We're not going to allow it to happen. We're not going to allow our auto workers to suffer the word bloodbath. But while I was speaking metaphorically, a real bloodbath is occurring right now under Crooked Joe. It's Biden's border bloodbath. There's never been anything like it. Every day, Joe Biden is setting loose thousands of unvetted, unscreened, military-aged men into the United States from parts unknown. Americans like Lakin Riley and Travis Wolf are being murdered, and they're being murdered. It's horrible what's going on. Our people are being murdered. You have to understand, people are pouring into our country at levels that we've never seen before. 15 million people, in my opinion, thus far. It'll be close to 20 million people by the time we get this guy out. That's almost bigger than any state in the Union. And they're coming in from jails and prisons. They're coming in from mental institutions and insane asylums. They're terrorists. They're human traffickers. And they traffic in women. That's what they want to traffic in. That's what they want to do. And we had it almost stopped. We had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border probably in the history of the world. Every day, innocent citizens are being killed, stabbed, shot, raped, and murdered because of Biden migrant crime. It's a new word, a new term. It's migrant crime, but we call it Biden migrant crime because he's responsible for 100 percent. Yet the same fake news media that is pushing one hoax after another never wants to talk about that. Biden is so lawless and extreme that his administration fought the state of Texas all the way to the Supreme Court to stop them from trying to help secure our border. Thankfully, Joe Biden lost that fight. Today, the Supreme Court let Texas protect their border. What a great victory that was. I'm so proud of them. When I'm your president, we're going to end this disgrace, and we're going to stop Biden's border bloodbath. It is a bloodbath indeed, and we're going to get it stopped. Thank you very much.